Hello everyone. Very good morning. Very good evening. Welcome to my channel. This is Malik Arjun here. So here I'm with a quick demonstration on uh, SP file and P file administration as a Oracle database admin. How we can deal with this SP file and P file issues. So in my lab server here, I have a database DevDB, and then let's understand whether it started with a, a P file or SP file. I log into Oracle user. I'm gonna run dot space what I envy set the environmental variable that's a dev db and I can verify whether the environmental variables are set or not by using env grep your vara so that's going to say your sid is set your oracle base oracle home is set so now let's fire sql plus slash as sys dba which will going to connect to your database instance as a sys user and I can quickly show whether my database is started with the sp file or p file Right, if you remember my startup sequence, any database startup sequence from shutdown, no mount, mount, and open. So your instance from shutdown to no mount, you want to read SP file first. If SP file is not available, it's gonna go for P file. So if SP file and P file, none of them are not available, your database will never start. Your database instance will never go into no mount mode. From no mount to mount, again, it's gonna read control file, from mount to open, it's gonna read data file and then the read log files. So I'm not worrying about the data file and read logs. Now let's go ahead and then check it out, your P file or SP file. So I'm gonna talk about only this portion from shutdown to no mount in this today's session. Right, now I can quickly fire a command, show parameter SP file it will tell my database is started with SP file. So I can create a P file from this SP file, like let's say create P file from SP file. So if I run this command, create a P file from SP file, what it's gonna do, it's gonna go into this Oracle home under DBS location, it's gonna create a text file, P file, which is a human readable format, right? So if uh, anyone not aware of that, your SP file is a binary file, and a P file is a text file where human can open and read and write that one. Right, both are under both are available under your Oracle home slash DBS location. So right now I have created a P file. So if I go to my dollar Oracle home slash DBS location to LSF and LTR. So or else I can do LSF and LTR star dev db star so i can see i have sp file which my database instance is started with sp file and i have this init file which is created just now if i do date on the server which is february 1st 1149 so your init file got started if i do more or cat on that file it is a text human readable format with all the parameters value defined in that right so now other way to create a p file from the sp file Right, we use uh, this command, a uh, create sp file, create p file from sp file. Now, I don't want to create this p file under dbs directory. I want to create it on my custom directory. So I can run the same command, create a p file. I want to create it under slash temp init devdb dot ora from sp file. It's going to create under temp init devdb dot ora under that location. It's going to create a p file. If I run this one, create p file equal to temp init devdb dot ora from sp file, you're gonna create file got created and file will be here. If I do lsfn ltr, I can see the same file February 1st, 1149 init file. If I do cat of that, it'll be of the same file, same information, right? So you can either create simple command which is gonna default create under Oracle Home DBS directory, or you can provide your custom location which is gonna create under that custom directory. Right now, other ways, I'm gonna create SP file from P file. Right, for that your database has to start with a P file. So for that, or I already have this P file here, I'm gonna create a SP file from that. So for that, I can use something like this. A create, SP file from P file, and I'm going to give that P file location. 
right? Both will work. And then your database is started or not started, doesn't matter. Like right now, my database is already started with the SP file. Let's say I can connect back to my database, show parameter once again. SP file, which says SP file created under the DBS location. Now, if I try to create this command, cannot create SP file because SP file already is in use. This command default take this DBS Oracle Home DBS directory, whatever the init file, with that init file, you're going to try to create a SP file under the same DBS directory. So this command is going to make use of this init file and it's going to try to create a SP file under the same DBS directory. The question here is, can I create SP file into some custom like custom directory? Something like this. Create SP file equal to under the same temp directory, instead of init sp file devdb.ora from this one, or directly go with the plain command without that sp file location, go with the default dbs directory sp file. Right, the file got created. If I do exit and do lsf and ltr, and it's gonna show you that file got created, which is a binary file. Even though you were able to do a cat of that file, but it may having some junk character here. And you can see there's a junk character here. So you cannot, you are ideally should not open or read or VI or you should not do anything on the binary files. Right, so that is your, you know, underlying fact. So now there's a one more start of sequence. So now I got to know, I can create a SP file from the P file, or I can create a P file from SP file, that this simple command, which is gonna create files, either P file, SP file under DBS directory, where I call home DBS directory. Or I can create a SP file or the P file into my custom location or in using my custom P file. But is there any way I can start my database using the SP file, which is in some different location? For example, if I kill my database instance here, PSF and EF grep S1, I can kill this instance. So now let's say I can connect back to my database instance. Okay, which is connected. It has to go some processes. It has to be connected to idle instance. Okay, now it has connected to idle instance. Now if I do, I have this P file. I can start, start up a P file equal to P file location. So it's gonna read this P file and it's gonna start with that particular P file. And do you have an option similar to this, whatever the startup command I use, do you have an option to start my database, start up SP file, and can I give this SP file location? The SP file might be in your DBS location or it might be in some custom location. Can I, do I have an option to do that one? Let's check it out. My database instance got started using this P file here. I can go ahead and then kill one more time. Smon, go ahead and then kill this one. Kill minus nine, right? Your instance got killed. Now I'll connect back. Connected to idle instance. Let's see what happens. This command startup sp file. Invalid combination of startup. Your startup always supports a p file. Your startup will never support sp file. Right, you can give startup and this startup command is gonna look for SP file inside DBS location. If that is not there, it look for the P file inside DBS location and then your database will never start. So if you don't have SP file or P file under DBS directory, you have other option like startup P file, you can give your custom P file location. But whereas startup SP file, you cannot give your custom SP file location. Or you can you even you cannot give your SP file which is under your Oracle Home DBS location. Even that option is not supported. Startup will never work with SP file. Startup will work with your P file only. So if I do this SP file here under DBS, the own original location, right? Invalid combination of startup option. The startup will never work with your SP file. Right? That's a quick intro about for today. Let's connect on our next session, guys. Thank you.